Musk has been tinkering with the idea of a Tesla pickup truck for the better part of a decade. In 2012, he tweeted that he would love to make a Tesla super truck with crazy torque and dynamic air suspension. It took him seven years to announce the final product. Many companies are making their own electric trucks to compete with Cybertrucks, even though production is still some way off. Rivian is one of the companies. Rivian's R1T is one of the most exciting electric vehicles slated to be released in the near future. The R1T is fundamentally the electric version of one of the country's most popular car types, the pickup. Rivian's decision to target this market is a sound one. Rivian R1T hits 60 miles per hour in less than three seconds. Only a few hypercars and supercars can match that speed, and Tesla's Model S Plaid is the most obvious rival. Rivian claims that the R1T can tow 11,000 pounds, which is a solid number, although it won't compete with the largest trucks on the market. Powering the R1T are four motors, which are positioned as close as possible to the center of each axle. A potential competitor could also be Hummer. The Hummer EV has three electric motors that make 1,000 horsepower. The truck features all-wheel drive as standard, and the company estimates a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 3 seconds, thanks to watts to freedom launch control. A dubious 11,500 pound-to-foot torque figure is also cited by GMC, but this estimate is almost certainly based on the torque multiplying effect of the truck's gear ratios. When it comes to towing and payload, GMC has yet to release this information. It would have to be able to tow between 7,500 and 11,000 pounds and carry between 1,500 and 3,500 pounds to compete with the Tesla Cybertruck and Rivian's R1T and R1S models. Last but not least, there is the Lightning by Ford. The all-electric 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning reimagines the innovation behind America's best-selling truck after a 17-year hiatus. The stellar surface of the all-electric 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning conceals a battery that is capable of producing 426 horsepower and a massive 775 pounds to feet of torque. Using this powerful motor, the 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning electric electric pickup truck can travel up to 230 miles before needing a recharge. If you opt for the 300-mile extended range battery, it produces 563 horsepower and the same torque figures. Additionally, did you know Ford has created the Mega Power Trunk that will give you all the muscle strength you need? The Mega Power Funk that will give you all the muscle strength you need. Each 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning electric pickup will feature this unique feature and offer 14.1 cubic feet of interior space. It also has instant portable power and a spacious storage area under the hood. Well, these three companies may have failed to impress you, but we can guarantee you that the car and the company we will introduce to you will mesmerize you. Founded in Ontario, Canada by Phoenix Motor Incorporated, Edison Future is a new manufacturer of electric vehicles for the passenger market. Under the Phoenix Motorcars umbrella, Edison Future now joins Phoenix Motorcars as a dual brand strategy. Furthermore, Phoenix Motorcars is a fully owned subsidiary of SPI Energy, which is focused on renewable energy, particularly solar, a key feature of the Edison Future vehicles. Despite the company starting its journey in 2020, its chief marketing officer, Jose Paul Placal, seems optimistic about it. According to him, Edison Future is here to provide innovative, bold and sustainable options for consumers. There are other manufacturers in the truck segment and we applaud those efforts. The EV space is growing at such a rapid pace, so there is an opportunity for numerous OEMs to address the demand. Because our main goal is electric vehicle adoption, we simply provide additional choices that are unique, stylish and complete with features and specs that create a unique value proposition for drivers. The chairman and CEO of SPI Energy has also expressed his excitement about their latest EV innovations, saying, We are looking forward to showcasing our latest EV innovations at the LA Auto Show, the first major auto event of the season. 
Therefore, we have a company that is self-aware, has the expertise, and has the backing to make something special. Hence, all that remains is the physical product. The EF1T comes into play here. As we have mentioned earlier, this subsidiary of SPI Energy used to be aligned with another spin-off called Phoenix Motorcars. Their business was retrofitting Ford medium-duty trucks to run on electricity. Don't be fooled by this fact and its steel wheels resemblance to that of a Ford F-150 XL work truck and assume it's a modified Ford. Edmund Shen, Edison Futures VP of Product Management, says both the EF1T pickup and the EF1V van are completely engineered by Edison Future, a company based in Livermore, California. Edison Future intends to offer a broad assortment of all-wheel drive configurations ranging from the rear-wheel drive single motor to dual and tri-motor all-wheel drive. Similarly, there will be a range of battery pack sizes to meet a variety of budgets and expectations. As of now, only the single motor version can accelerate to 60 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds. It will be capable of 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds, with a two motor version producing around 600 horsepower. The three motor version will have 700 horsepower and a 60 miles per hour time of 3.9 seconds. EF1V van models will only offer rear or two motor all wheel drive, each of which is rated to hit 60 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds. We're told the motors will be permanent magnets, and some of them may be clutched, so they will idle when they're not required during cruising. There has been no word yet on battery sizes, but the base model is said to cover 300 miles on a charge, the two motor one 380 miles, and the top model 450 miles. Using DC fast charging, the battery will reach 80% charge in 25 minutes. SPI stands for Solar Power Innovations, and Edison Future is therefore leveraging SPI Energy's latest photovoltaic solar cells for the truck and van solar roof options. Each will have a similar solar collecting surface area, and it is predicted to be able to add 15 to 25 miles of range under sunny conditions in Southern California. In terms of towing capacity, the EF1T standard model with a single rear motor is rated at 7,500 pounds. The EF1TP premium two motor model is good for 9,000 pounds, while the top EF1TS Super is rated for 11,000 pounds. The rear drive EF1V can tow 7,500 pounds, while the two motor AWD long range van can tow 8,000 pounds. So should the others worry? Competition is competition until or unless it isn't. Edison Future may run out of funding, investors might lose their nerve, the executive suite might be raided, or any of a million other possible pitfalls could threaten its future. However, the truck looks intriguing and the initial specs are promising, so we wish the new company luck. Considering Tesla's sway over the market, the Cybertruck could be a big deal in the world of electric trucks. Despite its funky design, it's likely to appeal to people who want to stand out, whether or not they drive a truck. Despite this, the constant delays do not bode well for Cybertruck. With the Rivian R1T, Hummer EV and Ford F-150 Lightning already available, the electric truck industry has already begun heating up. Finally, what if the Edison future overtakes them all? Who knows?